Okay, so let's say if you want to create sort of like a hero image and then you want to show your blog post. So we can easily do that by turning on the builder and adding like a background image to the row. So what we can do first of all is we can scroll down over here first and let's just zoom out first and we can create like a new row. So something like that. And we can go over here and click on styling. All right, so let's just zoom back in a little bit. And what we could do is click on the background and background image. And then we can look for an image that you want to put on your background. For example, this one, insert, and then set it to full cover. So that's generally what I like to do. And then what you can do is add some padding like that. So just add maybe let's say 200 or maybe 150, depending on what you want. If you want to add in text, then I think 150 should be enough for the top and the bottom, just like that. Right, so once you have that, then we can drag it and we can move it on the top. So click over here and just scroll up with your mouse and drag it on the top. And then you've got this hero section over here. So we can add some padding below there as well so that we add look, extra space. Then we could do maybe some text. So this could be like, like a title over here, for example, um, start any, oops, blog like that. We can set this to heading one and we can go to styling, go to font and move it into the middle. Let's change the color. And for the size of the heading one, we can go over here and change it. So it could be like, I think 64, I think that's decent. And then if you want to boost sort of the text a little bit, we can add some shadow to that text. So over here, we could do one, one and then we could do like a little blur which is like five and then change this to black and then drop the opacity down to like 0 0.2 so maybe yeah 0 0.25 like that and it adds some extra shadow right so it makes sure that the text is visible you can also go to styling go to row overlay and then add like a black overlay and then drop the opacity down to like 0. yeah 0 0.1 should be fine and then that just enhances the text a little bit more. So if you want it to go all the way across from left to right, then we can hover over here and then go to row options. And for the row width, just set it to full width like that and save. Then we can close it. And what you're gonna notice is maybe like a little gap on the top over here. Um, so that is a problem. So how we actually fix it is go to edit page and then we can scroll down to here, Themeify custom panel, content width, and ensure that is full width. Click on update. And then we can click on view page or you can click on permalink and head back over there. So now it's gonna go all the way across, right? So I think there might be a problem with like the spacing over here. So what we can do is turn on the builder and we can sort of reduce it by reducing the margin on that row. So let's go styling, let's do margin, and let's do, I think we can do minus. So minus 50, something like that. So let's click on save, and let's close it again. So hopefully, okay, so there is still a little bit of spacing when you scroll down. Um, okay, so I think it's fixed now. So let's just refresh that page or we can just turn off the, I think the sticky header. So if you want to turn that off, we can just go to dashboard and we can go to themify settings over here and we can disable the sticky header in the theme settings and then theme appearance. Let's go to disable sticky header. You can also do it for each individual page as well. So for example, you might not have a hero image on that page on like if you have an about page, you might not have a hero image and you don't wanna do that, then, so I think that's pretty good, okay?